Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a rule similar to yours that you are saying it's not working for you. Here is the discount name, fixed discount of 10 rupees, $10 as per your currency. Now local pickup shipping method, cart has product of category not equals to pizza. Here is the category, uh, one second, product category pizza. You have child categories in this as well. So when you are making a rule, make sure that the product that you are selecting should belongs to, directly belongs to the pizza. Child category will not be considered as part of this parent category. If you want the rule to be applied on this child categories, then you have to select this child categories in this rule as well. Let's try it with the pizza. Now this is the pizza, save the rule. Now I have added some products to the cart already. These are the only three products that belongs to the pizza category, pizza category. And these are their child category products. So you can see these are not part of these three products and I have added them in my cart. And when I go to the checkout page, you can see the discount is applied over here. Now let's make it pizza. Now since the pizza category is there, let's add this product to the cart. Once I add this product to the cart, the discount will be gone as this product is direct part of the pizza. Okay, we have some add-on installed in our website because of which we are facing this restriction. Actually, we have this add-on which gives, based upon that setting, this two product can't be ordered same. Let me disable that add-on. Okay. You can see the discount fund for this. Sorry for the disturbance. You can see the discount has been removed from here. When I added the product, variable product, which was direct part of the pizza. Now if I remove this product, the discount will be added again. Remove discount has come back again. Now let's add something from the child category. This is product of the child category of the pizza. When I add this, discount will remain. You can see the discount remain. So the issue is you might be adding the product from the child category of the design product in your case and you are expecting that the rule should apply but rule will only apply when the product is direct part of that category which you have selected over here